Namaste, dear yogis. I'm back on my mat and I am incredibly grateful that you are there with me, that you have uh, taken this uh, short yet efficient moment out of your day to heal your body, to nurture your body, to oil up those joints, to release any bit of attention from your body. So this class, it's uh, very simple. It's done on our back, uh, but uh, it is like a miracle worker. It is a true healer because uh, I find uh, that on the days when my back is just aching and my hips are so tense and I just feel like I cannot get out of my bed, there's no energy, everything just feels stuck, then this glass works perfect. It is so gentle way to get those juices flowing and uh, to get that energy moving. Just have a try. Let me know after the class what you thought about it. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed and feel free to donate a little something if you do love hanging out with me on your yoga mat. Uh, by hanging out, of course, I mean uh, practicing yoga with me. Anyhow, we're going to get started. So roll out your mat and let's hop on it. So we're going to start uh, flat on our back and we're actually going to stay flat on our back uh, throughout the entire class. Isn't that lovely? Good news. So just lay down. Nice. And uh, to begin with, just spread your feet about mat width apart and lean your knees together. We're going to start with a bit of a breathing just to center ourselves uh, and, um, and, you know, just arrive to our yoga practice and check in with our body and check in with our breath. You're going to release your hands down to your belly or if you prefer, lower your hands down to the sides. Close your eyes. Take a proper, complete exhalation, exhaling all those toxins, all there from the bottom of your lungs. And then as you start your inhalation, breathe first into your belly and then allow the rib cage, the chest area to fill with fresh air. And then exhale first from the top of your chest, from the rib cage area and then allow the belly to fall. Continue like this, inhaling deeply. And exhaling completely, just observing your breathing and observing your body. How are you feeling today? Do you feel any tension anywhere? Do you feel lightness? Do you feel freedom or maybe discomfort? Be honest with yourself and just explore any sensations, explore your feelings, your emotions. Now, as I mentioned earlier, that this class is suitable for all levels, either you're on your yoga mat for the first time in your life or you're advanced yogi, you will get something out of this, uh, I'll bet you. It's a it's really lovely way to just bring more movement into your joints and uh, just really kind of like more, uh, get those uh, tissues all nice and juicy. <laughs> Good. Nice. So we're going to start with our uh, little uh, slow flow today, separating your knees and walk your feet a little bit closer together. Now you can bring your hands down to the side almost like cactus arms. So elbows bent. If this feels uncomfortable, have your hands straight, palms facing upwards. Good. On your next exhale, allow the knees to drop to the side. 
Inhaling, bringing your knees together. Exhale, knees to the side and continue in the rhythm of your own breath. Now, if you do feel like you need something underneath your head, if your neck feels stiff and, you know, you keep your head like this, then bring a pillow or a towel underneath your head. Exhale, lower the knees. Inhale, bring together one last time. Exhale. And inhale together. Very good. Now separating your feet about hip width apart. Bring your hands now down to the sides, palm facing downwards. And we'll start, uh, we'll start to rock our spine. So it's almost like cat cow done on our back. On your exhalation, you're going to round your back. You're going to push that back into the floor. Hug the navel in. Inhaling. You're going to flex your back or like Expand your back. <laughs> Was it the right word? Exhale, rounding the back. Inhale, arch your back. That's the word. And exhale. And inhale, arch. And exhale. Inhale. Last one. Exhale. And inhale. Good. Now as you exhale, bring your left knee into your chest. Interlock your fingers on top of your thigh. Or actually not thigh, but your shin. Good. So we're going to continue this movement with our back. As you exhale, you round your back. As you inhale, you arch. Keep holding on to your leg. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Good, last one. Exhale in. And as you inhale, you're going to lower your hands down and lengthen that left leg. We're going to continue the movement with the le left leg straight. So as you exhale, you're going to press that lower back down. Inhale, you're going to arch and you're going to push your left heel away. Exhale, round. Inhale, start to slide your left heel away. Exhale. Inhale. Take your hand with your next time. Exhale, press the lower back down. Now as you inhale, take your left arm above. Lengthen and exhale, relax. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Keep your hand down on the, on the side or bring it next to your body. Now, on your next exhalation, as you press the lower back down, see my heel lifts. I'm not going to lift my leg much, but as just as much as it comes up. And inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Very simple sequence, but it actually st strengthens our back, our core, our pelvic floor, and uh, of course stretches out our hips and increases mobility in our spine. One last time. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, lift. Very good. Lower the leg down. Now bend your left knee. We're going to take both hands, arms to the side. And this time we're going to rock the knees over to the right. So uh, keep your feet about uh, mat width apart. And now 
as you inhale, start to drop your knees over to your right. Lengthen that left knee away and come back. Good. Continue this movement to your right side only. Now inhale, drop your knees, push the hip away and exhale. Inhale, slide the knee away, exhale. Inhale, exhale. You can continue with this movement or you can turn more over to your side. So see this inhaling. I'm going to turn to my right side, lengthening the left hand above my head. And then I'm going to come back, exhale. So inhale all the way to my right side and coming back. Good. Continue two more times. Inhale, length. Exhale, back. Inhale. And exhale. Very good. Well done. Let's hug the knees in and then we're going to move over to the right side. So you can just swing yourself slightly side to side. Energy is flowing pretty perfectly already. So bring your knees down. We're going to hug the right knee in. Interlock your fingers on top of your shin. Good. And we're going to continue this movement, this rocking with our back. Exhale, press the lower back to the floor. Hug the knee in. Inhale, arch. And exhale. Inhale. The knee comes slightly towards the armpit. Exhale. Inhale. Last one. Exhale. Inhale. Very good. Exhale to your chest. And then inhale, lower the right leg down to the floor. Good. Continue the movement. Exhale, press the lower back to the floor. Inhale, slide your heel away, arch the back slightly. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Last one. Exhale. Feel free to continue like this, but we're going to take the hand with us. Inhaling, bringing your right arm up, lengthen. Exhale, relax the hand into a cactus arm. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, relax. Notice also the effect on the digestive organs. Oh. Everything is working so much deeper, so much better. Inhale, last one. And exhale, release. Good. You can keep your hand on the side. We're going to take the leg lift now. So as you exhale, press the lower back down to the floor and feel the heel rise. Inhaling, pressing the heel away. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, last one, exhale, and inhale, beautiful. Bend your right knee, keep your feet about mat width apart, take your both hands to your side. Now. Start to bring your knees to your left. So as you inhale, drop the knees to the left. Push that right knee away. Exhale, back. Inhale, swing the knees to your left. Exhale, back. Inhale. And exhale. Good, last one. Inhale, and exhale, beautiful. 
And now we're gonna add a little bit more of a movement into this. So you can continue with the previous uh, sequence, but otherwise turn all the way over to your left side. So as you inhale, drop your knees and just swing to your left. Lengthen that right arm and exhale, come back to the center. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, and exhale, wonderful, good, hug your knees into your chest, good, you can rock yourself slightly side to side. Take a hold of your knees, and we're going to start to circle our knees. So you arch your back slightly as your knees are further away, and you press your back into the floor as your knees are close to your chest. So just circling the knees opposite directions. Swap the direction, so circling the opposite way. Good. And from here, you're going to just roll yourself up. And we're going to come into a cat-cow position. And from your cat-cow, we're going to spoil that spine a little bit more. So just keep your knees about hip width apart. We're not going to do a regular cat-cow, but we're going to add a much more movement into this. So you're almost like doing lateral, lateral extension. So going to the sides. And you can arch and you can round. So just trust your body, close your eyes. What is your body telling you to do? What type of a movement? Just move as you wish. Everything works. So you know what feels good for you. You can go all the way to the back. Or it can be little circles, or it can be even a regular cat gal if you wish. Good. And now just take your hands a little bit further to the front, spread your fingers wide apart and visualize you're going into down dog, but we're not going to go into down dog. So you're just pressing your hands down like in a down dog, pushing the palms away, lowering, lowering yourself into a child's pose, but just keep pressing the palms away, lengthen, 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 lengthen. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, actually lift into your down dog. Keep pressing those palms away. Keep your knees lightly bent. Bent, not bent. Good. And then lower your knees back down to the ground. Good. Just sit on top of your heels or into a cross-legged seated position. Take your hands over to the front. Make a fist. And then just circle your wrists around. Good. Now, if you wish to take a little rela uh, final relaxation in Shavasana, feel free to do that. Just lay down on your mat, close your eyes. Otherwise, come into seated position, cross-legged seated position. Bring your hands down to your knees, either palms facing up or down. Close your eyes for a moment. Take a deep breath in. And 
and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Deep breath in. And out. Bring your hands together to your heart center. Start to rub your palms together, creating heat. And then bring your warm palms over your closed eyes. In the darkness of your palms, open up your eyes. And take your hands back to your heart center. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I am, I'm incredibly grateful that uh, we have this beautiful yogic uh, family, you know, also this online family. It, it means so much to me that you have uh, chosen to share your yoga practice with me. And um, thank you for that. I hope you have the most loveliest day. I hope you feel healed and you feel balanced and you feel like your juices are flowing. So go out there and shine your light. Bye-bye.